I'm Dr. Sam, and this is Dr. Sam's Health. In my previous videos, uh, I started a conversation about macronutrients. Uh, we already spoke about carbohydrates, I made a video on lipids, we started talking about them, and I spoke about fat. Right now, I think it's time to finish the lipids part and talk about cholesterol, which is another lipid. So, the word cholesterol stems from the Greek words kol, which means uh, bile, uh, stereos, which means solid, and ol, which is an and in that, uh, simply in chemistry it means that the molecule is an alcohol. So cholesterol is technically an alcohol that is found in, uh, in bile. But that is not what it is famous for. We all have heard about cholesterol, it's kind of a notorious molecule, some sort of a boogeyman in the world of nutrition. Uh, I would like to say that I actually have got very unorthodox view on cholesterol. I don't believe it's a very bad molecule and we should be afraid of it. And I will try to make sure that uh, today, after today's video, you will, you will have at least a good understanding of what it is, how it works, what our body uses it for, why we need it, and uh, why specifically it is not such a bad thing and things are not that simple, at least. Cholesterol is found in almost all animal products, like chicken, meat, eggs, bacon, uh, usually it comes with uh, fatty tissues, so the more fat is in the uh, food, the, the more cholesterol you get, technically. A uh, very good example would be eggs. Each egg contains almost like 300 milligrams of cholesterol, which is almost the dietary requirements for a day. I question these dietary requirements. I've seen quite a few articles talking about the dietary cholesterol, and uh, many of them show that it doesn't really matter how much cholesterol you consume. People can eat like 10-20 eggs a day and at the same time their uh, blood cholesterol levels will be normal. So what happens to cholesterol when we consume cholesterol-rich foods? So all foods have been uh, digested and absorbed in our gut, including cholesterol and fatty acids, lipids, uh, and along with fatty acids, cholesterol has been packaged, it forms uh, chylomicrons, this little globuli, they travel to our liver and our liver takes them in, deconstructs them, decomposes them into simpler molecules and repackages them into something that we call lipoproteins. We kind of touched this topic when we were talking about fats, I will touch it again here, uh, but again I don't want to spend too much time on it. I think I'll make a special video about like lipoproteins, bad cholesterol, good cholesterol, uh, and I'll try to dispel this myth, but uh, the whole idea is that what happens to cholesterol has been packaged into lipoproteins and it travels, uh, it gets released into the bloodstream and travels to all of our organs that actually need it. So what is the role of cholesterol in our body? Why do we need it so much? Uh, first of all, when it is still in the liver, our liver uh, makes bile using cholesterol. Cholesterol is a very important component of bile and bile is a very important substance. It's been released into the gut in order to help to break down larger fat uh, globuli or like, chunks of fat into smaller uh, droplets. It's called emulsification. Uh, and only with bile this can happen and accordingly the fat can be broken down to smaller pieces which are digestible. Our body can process the, uh, the fat, uh, our intestinal, uh, intestinal and pancreatic enzymes can actually break this fat down to even smaller molecules and then absorb. Without cholesterol, without bile, we would not be able to consume fat at all. Uh, and there are conditions that are associated actually with uh, problems with bile, like someone who has a liver disease, they cannot produce their bile anymore, uh, they cannot absorb vitamins A, D, E, K, which are fat soluble, they cannot consume fat, they have something that's called steatorrhea, which means that in their feces there is a lot of fat. But that's not the main problem. The main problem is that these people cannot get enough energy for their, to sustain their metabolism. Because fat, as you know, is the most energy-dense uh, nutrient. Next function is structural. Cholesterol is a part of our cellular membranes. Actually, up to 30% of our cellular membranes in every single cell in your body uh, are comprised of cholesterol. And cholesterol conveys certain properties to these membranes, like fluidity and integrity. So without cholesterol, our membranes would become very brittle, they would not be able to function properly, and they would break very easily, we would simply die if we wouldn't have cholesterol. 
that's the bottom line of this part. So cholesterol is already known for two big functions. The third function that I would like to mention is absolutely critical, especially if you are thinking about uh, the big picture of your nutrition, your metabolism, your muscular growth, your uh, sportive performance. Is cholesterol being a source or structural basis for formation of all steroid hormones? Yes, steroids that some people are using uh, are structural analogs of our body's steroids and our body makes all our steroid hormones of cholesterol. So, not only vitamin D, but uh, testosterone, estrogens, progesterone, uh, all steroid hormones are made out of cholesterol. And we need certain levels of it uh, in order to maintain multiple functions of our body. And uh, pretty much if you are depriving yourself of cholesterol, uh, you are going to suffer in, on so many levels. Your sexual drive will likely be decreased because you won't have enough sex, sex hormones. Uh, your body growth and muscular development will suffer a number of other metabolic uh, and structural problems that might ensue. In fact, cholesterol is so important that our body cannot simply rely on getting cholesterol from our diet. So if there is not enough cholesterol, our body will start producing its own cholesterol. It's, our body is going to spend a lot of energy on it, but it just shows how important cholesterol is for a number of other functions in our body. Just a little clinical fact. Maybe you have heard about medications that are called statins, uh, like atorvastatin and other. There are quite a few of them. I don't, I don't mean to target atorvastatin uh, specifically. It's just like one of the most common commonly prescribed one, Lupitor. So uh, what these medications do, they, they prevent our body from creating our own cholesterol. And that leads to a number of things. Uh, potentially there is a decrease of cholesterol levels, but uh, one of the main like, notorious side effects of this medication is something that is called rhabdomyolysis, uh, which simply means the breakdown of skeletal muscle tissue. Uh, I just want to use this fact to show to you that actually cholesterol is super important for our skeletal muscles and uh, you need certain amounts of cholesterol to be consumed through your diet. Your body will, will complement it, most likely you've got some storages of cholesterol in your fat tissue, but the gist of it, you need enough cholesterol in order to function properly and in order to build good athletic bodies. One important thing that I feel almost obliged to mention is that cholesterol is definitely associated in uh, scientific literature with uh, cardiovascular disease. We know for sure we have heard about conditions like atherosclerosis, ischemic heart disease, a uh, number of adverse cardiac events associated with high cholesterol levels. Yes, this is true. Cholesterol is statistically associated with a number of cardiovascular events. The Topic is uh, actually the subject is very very complex and uh, I don't feel ready to talk about it in this video. I just want to talk about the like, nutritional value of cholesterol. What are the uh, functions of cholesterol in our body? But I promise you, I will definitely talk about bad cholesterol and good cholesterol, which is already a very silly distinction. It is the same molecule; it's just part of different lipoproteins, uh, high density and low density, and again. Nothing is like very simple there. There are quite a few alternative explanations of what is happening in our bodies with cholesterol. Not what cholesterol does to our bodies specifically, but what happens with cholesterol and how it ends up in, uh, as part of this uh, atherosclerotic plaques in our body that are associated with cardiovascular disease. Having said that, I hope that today we have covered the most important things about cholesterol metabolism, its role in our nutrition and our body function. Just to recap, cholesterol is really important for formation of bile, which in turn is really important for our fat digestion and metabolism in general. And accordingly, absence of cholesterol, absence of bile, like in some liver disease, for example, uh, leads to a number of metabolic problems. Also, cholesterol plays a huge important role in our membrane stability and fluidity, and without cholesterol, we'd simply die. Uh, and last but not the least, cholesterol plays a huge role in our hormonal uh, balance. It is a structural part of um, vitamin D and all steroids. So it is really, really 
important molecule. We cannot live without it. We do need certain amounts of it. And I promise you I will talk about the uh, cholesterol-related problems in a separate video. Today I just wanted to cover the metabolic aspects of it. So, thank you for listening. I will see you in my next video, which will likely be about either alcohol or protein. I would really like to finish this macronutrient series, and uh, then we'll continue with dispelling some myth about cholesterol, bad cholesterol, good cholesterol, other things. Uh, we'll talk about hormones likely, like insulin, cortisol, epinephrine, glucagon, for sure, ins uh, thyroid hormones, and so on. And then we'll get to our diets. So I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, please post them. I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, I would appreciate your likes, your comments, and your subscriptions. Okay, see you in my next video. Bye.